Welcome to the channel. My name is Alan Sams, and today we're taking a look at the Epiphone Les Paul Modern. Uh, this guitar is a part of the Inspired by Gibson line that Epiphone put out last year, um, where they're kind of giving a more affordable um, option to some of Gibson's uh, more high-end priced guitars. Uh, if you were to look at this guitar in the Gibson format, um, a Gibson Les Paul uh, modern, it would be right around $2,800. These start at $649. Uh, the guitar features a real ebony fretboard with the perloid, um, perloid inlays. Um, it has a humbucker, a probucker 2, probucker 3 in the bridge. They're coil tappable, or coil splittable, I should say. And you can see with the electronics, you have pull, push pull pots in both volumes and then on the top tone you can also it allows you to put the guitar out of phase um, it is a mahogany body with a proper maple cap it has binding all the way around and up the neck um, the neck is actually a really comfortable neck it's not it's not super thin it's not shredder thin um, and it's not, but it's not overly thick either. So it's kind of like a right in the middle um, kind of Goldilocks neck. The guitar also features a um, a Graftech nut, and probably one of the most impressive features this guitar offers, at especially at a six forty nine um, price point, is the Grover Rotomatic locking tuners. Um, generally, you're only going to get that get those on a on a more high-end guitar um, so we'll take a listen to it I went ahead and just kind of there's so many tonal options with this guitar because of all the electronics and the way that you can shift and change things and split coils um, I just basically did the uh, neck bridge middle positions um, in the humbuckers just so you can get an over uh, just so you can get a, an idea of what the guitar sounds like are offered in pretty much three standard colors right now for the solid 
for the solid color ones. This is the um, sparkling burgundy, and you have the uh, faded Pelham blue and the uh, graphite black. Um, there also is a line that has the veneer uh, flame top, flame maple top, and those come in some pretty um, some pretty cool colors. They're also a little bit more expensive. They started around they started around six ninety nine. Um, so, but anyway. Also, one other thing I forgot to kind of point out is this guitar has a sculpted neck profile so that you can, um, or neck, you know, sculpted neck join so that you can get up into the high registers. And, uh, yeah, you know. Um, my final thoughts on this guitar is it's great. This is kind of like, this is kind of like Epiphone or... Gibson creating a made in Mexico line. Even though these are made in Indonesia, I would consider this pretty close to the same quality level as like a made in Mexico Fender Stratocaster. Um, it's definitely, it's it's um, it's a quality instrument, it's a quality guitar. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, as a matter of fact, I like this line of Gibson, uh, this line of Epiphone so much, this, you know, inspired by Gibson line so much that I went ahead and ordered the uh, the 1959 uh, limited edition uh, Les Paul standard and uh, that's the one that's that been worked that Epiphone and Gibson Custom Shop worked together to develop and I got a tracking number on that yesterday so hopefully I'll have it in uh, by midweek and I'll take a look at it and let you guys know what I think but uh, anyway I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video if you uh, like the video if you like what you see, uh, click like, subscribe, do all those wonderful social media things, and uh, until next time.